Hi, I'm Dave Davies, and we're here at Stu Bykovsky's Comedy Night, an event that's been around for decades, where we raise some money for a good cause and see if we can find a politician who can do a few minutes of stand-up without embarrassing him or herself. Now, I've been to a few of these things, and it's uh, a truth I hold self-evident that politicians are generally funny when they're not trying to be. But maybe, maybe we can find one who will make us laugh. Let's find out. When I started this campaign, all the political types said, you know, George, you got to lose some weight. You know, you really got to get a little trim because uh, you, you're out on the campaign trail, you want to look good and all. But, I, you know, when I go and I stand next to Chris Christie, I feel very thin. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Chris was in the hospital last year, and I don't know if you heard about it, but people were pretty concerned. But the true story I found out was that he was diagnosed with that rare flesh-eating disease, and the doctor only gave him 13 years to live. In, in fact, they caught him in the hospital putting mayonnaise on his aspirin, but... but mm, no. You're not going to believe what happened to me right in front of the place here. I valet park my truck, I'm coming outside, around the back of the truck, get up to the front door of the wake here, and somebody sticks a gun in my chest and says, give me all your money. I said, yo, dude, hang on, I'm a member of the United States Congress. He said, oh, then give me my money. <laughs> Maybe. It's a, an honor to be here. You know, I was here in 2010, and uh, I uh, took a lot of heat for my routine. I made a lot of fun of the Indian American community. I'm Indian American, and uh, I, some people said I portray them in a bad light. So, you know, I'm not going to do that this cycle. You know, I'm not going to um, make any jokes or... Oh, excuse me, this is a... I got to take this. I'm sorry, I got to just take this call here. Yeah. Hello, thank you for calling the Dell hotline. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes uh, this is um, Mike from Kansas City. Yes, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Have you tried restarting your computer? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you try that and get back to me? Thank you, thank you. No, no, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I don't want to. Now, it's been said during the course of this campaign that I'm too close to Governor Corbett. I disagree with that, and I think he did a great job writing my jokes tonight. <laughs> the Pennsylvania voter ID law, that is thrust Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, right into the uh, national spotlight. And a lot of people can't vote. I mean, even the former governor, Ed Rendell, just said uh, on WIP the other day that he hasn't driven in uh, almost 20 years. And so he can't vote. Hi, this is Governor Ed. Excuse me, camera's over here. Camera's over here. Where are the cameras? Camera. Of course, I miss the camera. Buffet's over here. Camera's over here. OK, uh, of course, I, uh, I do, I'm not able to vote come September because I haven't driven in a long time, of course. Uh, I'm retired now, still have a driver. I live in the East Falls. It's a 20 minute drive to Harrisburg, depending on who's driving. <laughs> I will not be able to vote, but that will not prevent me from going on to MSNBC, CNBC, Fox Cable News to expound on the disenfranchised. Uh, by the way, I'll be running a red light at Levick and the Boulevard tomorrow just to get my picture taken again. <laughs> Ah, at last. <laughs> <laughs>